Hi there and welcome to my Scrappy Blanket 2 tutorial. I'm going to show you how to work the stitch on this piece of iron weight yarn. It's Paint Box Yarns Iron and it's 100% pure wool this one. I made my sample in 4-ply and I've also written the pattern so that you can work it in 4-ply, double knitting, iron weight or chunky. Uh, this is actually an extension of the iron weight sample because I had to work out uh, the tension for all the different yarn weights so this is what I did for that and I thought you know what this is nice and chunky to show you how to work the stitch. So I'm on towards the end of uh, row two it's a row two row three pattern repeat so I'm towards the end of that and I just wanted to show you how I work into the stitches because Although it says work one double crochet into each stitch and each chain and the top of the puffs, I just wanted to clarify that because I actually work, I don't work into the chain, this is the chain here, my next stitch, I actually just work round that and into the space because I found it made the puffs really pop. You could of course just do that, um, it's totally open to interpretation, try it, see which you prefer, if I flip it over. You can see I feel it just um, it gives them better definition in there. So we're going along. This is a chain here, so I'm just going to go between the puffs, and that deals with that chain. And then you do need to work into the top of the puffs. Often, if you're working a puff stitch design, it tells you to ignore that. For example, in my banjo socks. You must ignore that or you will end up with a very funny shaped sock. The exception is when I reach this last chain after the puffs, or it's actually before the puffs, it's the one you do just before you start them, we're going the other way. I do work into that because otherwise you end up with a bit of a gap here. That little piece here just fills that gap in and then is on top of the, the final treble two together there and it's just a case of double crocheting to the end. This is your last stitch. You do not work into the chain three at the start. So one, two, three, stitch up to height and turn. Your first stitch is this one here. So it's just one treble. I'm doing all this in UK terms, you probably guessed. And then treble two together. And we just repeat that. So you're doing almost a complete treble. Instead of doing the other yarn over and taking that off, you do a yarn over and you go into the next stitch. So now you've got two half trebles, yarn over again and take that off if you haven't worked it up treble two together before. Very simple. You just start them, almost finish them, and then on to the next one. So there, we've done our treble two togethers. Chain one, that's important. Yarn over, and here's our first puff. So go into the stitch, pull up a nice long loop. Your yarn's getting a bit tangled over there. <laughs> yarn over again, into the same stitch, pull up another long loop. Yarn over again, same stitch, another long loop, yarn over again, and pull all of them off. Complete it with a chain one. I'll show you that again. So yarn over, into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, big loop, yarn over, another big loop, yarn over again, take them all off. They do get easier. At first you may find that your your hook uh, gets stuck as you're trying to pull them all off, but just relax and it will become easier. I know I struggled with this stitch for a good number of years until I think I made a garment that was all puffs and that just helped me get used to them. Uh, it's a lovely little stitch because it gives you that little bobble and it's lovely for stitch uh, decoration and definition. So you carry on. I'm not going to go all the way along because it would be very repetitive. So you would do five of these working into each space and then make sure you chain one before you start on your 
treble two togethers. And then when you reach the end, there's three treble two togethers and one E to the end before we turn. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, do remember, you can reach out, ask me any questions. Um, you best place to get hold of me is on Instagram, without a doubt, um, my favourite hangout. And I am marta.mitchell.designs and I'm very responsive there and I'll help you out in whatever way I can. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the blanket. This is a free pattern, so please, um, first of all, share. If you like the pattern, please do share it. Share um, on Pinterest, perhaps, on Instagram as you're making it. Tag me and I'll be sharing in my stories for sure. And if you'd like to support my work, you can always buy me a coffee. And the link for that is in the pattern. And your support would be appreciated helping me to produce more free patterns because this one will always be free. It's not one that's going to be free and then later I'll change it to a paid for pattern. It's always going to be free. That's the way I'm going to work my scrappy pla <laughs> scrappy planter, scrappy blankets. Um, so thank you. Thank you for your support. Do enjoy the pattern. All the best. Bye.